Uh, April Fools. Y'all not getting fooled. Ultra high ADHD. I said, baby, come here and let me. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, yo, what's popping? Party people. I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to Ultra ADHD. I. I'm gonna keep it a buck 100 with y'all. I have no idea what this game is about. I downloaded this from either Itch.io or Game Jolt, uh, like maybe a month ago and i planned on playing this for a video but i didn't know when i was going to play because i had other stuff planned so now we're here i was looking for some games to play i saw that i had a folder called indie games on my uh on my desktop and i was like what the hell is this so i literally have no idea what's going on in this game i'm pretty sure i downloaded it because it looks gorgeous like like if you could just look at this right here I, I don't know. Anyways, let's uh let's hop right into it, okay? Let's hop right into it. Okay. So we have our let me how y'all doing? <laughs> so we have our usual waz to move. Hello? Yes, yes, hello. Hello? What? They answered the phone. Ah! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's a female. Ah, good. Let me talk to him. Can you please let me... Oh! oh. Somebody's getting the fuck beat out of them. <laughs> Hello there, mate. Oh, this is... Are we British? Are we British, love? How are you doing this fine morning? God damn it, motherland! You hit my arm! Mother- what? I- I'm fucking confused. Okay, so motherland is a person, not a place. I know, like, some people call their home the motherland. Whatever, I don't fucking- Run some water on it, you big baby! Anyways, you started it. Take care of it. <sighs> Sorry about that, mate. Just some sibling rivalry. Motherland and fatherland? I don't... STOP! I'M TRYING TO READ! I don't know if mother and father could be considered sibling... Um, unless... You... Unless it's that kind of s sibling rivalry, then... Wow, wow. Mind your language. It's not fucking professional. <laughs> Anyways, let's start from the top. How about you give us your name, lucky person? Uh, let's go with Skinny Penis. Oh, Skinny Penis. So, uh, it's Skinny Penis, huh? Frankly, I'm not pr particularly fond of it, but who am I to judge? <laughs> Nobody's fond of it. <laughs> I can see my mic peeking over here. Oh, speak of the devil. See? I told you to just put some water on it. I'm bleeding, and it didn't help. Do you see what I have to deal with, skinny penis? <laughs> Every time I hear her speak, I feel like I'm walking one more step towards a hundred feet cliff. It's either living with a rebellious sister and her lack of a... And her lack of... Tact or living with the empty void and its lack of, you know, being alive? Dark thoughts aside, skinny penis, I'm sure you're even more confused now than you were before. I have been confused since the day I was born. So let's not even go there. <clears throat> Quick question, if you will, skinny penis. How you will. Hopefully. Hopefully you won't find it rude. Why the fuck aren't you responding to anything we say? Yes, I am interested to know why too. We've been talking for about 20 text boxes and Skinny Penis never said a word. Ah, uh, we are dealing with a silent protagonist. It's always the silent prots that have like the, the best storylines though. What? A protagonist. 
who is also silent. Hmm, yes, I see. Very interesting indeed, yes. You don't know what that means, right? No. It means skinny penis doesn't talk, and we can basically make them do whatever we want. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Maybe not whatever you want, but I mean, <laughs> I will make some exceptions. You All right. Oh? And because they're the protagonist, they're the only one who can use weapons and save the world and the lot. Oh! I'm going to regret telling you this, aren't I? Right. This isn't a damn visual novel. You want to get to the action. I want to stop bleeding, so let's keep it short. Also, uh, fun fact, you can skip dialogue by holding tab. Feel free to skip all of Motherland's rambling. Did I hit, did I hit tab by accident when I was like... Okay, whatever. Look, we require your shooty, shooty shooty bang bang services. Meet us at the forest. You will be teleported to a location near a few seconds. If you see Fatherland, tell him he's a dick for me. Have a safe trip. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, so this game visually looks nice. I think that's one of the reasons why I downloaded it. Um, I was going to say that it kind of gives off that... Uh, what is the name of that game? Uh, the one with the, the eight characters that you can play as. It's on the Switch. I think it's also on PC now for whatever reason. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> Anyways. <clears throat> can I give you a high five? <laughs> Top of the morning. To oh, okay, sorry. It's not my thing. It's not my thing to do. Item shop. The sign reads, Attention, due to the end times, entry to the forest is strictly forbidden. Uh, so what are you going to do if I do enter? The end times are upon us! The prophecy tells of a silent hero who will defeat evil and save the world. Let us pray to our God and Savior for salvation! Wait, could it be you? Nah, nah, you're thinking of somebody else. I'm no hero. I am silent protagonist with cigarette. How many silent protagonists do you know have cigarettes? It's 2022, guys, come on. It's all about those vapes. And those, the, 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 whatever. <clears throat> Mildly, this guitar is loud as fuck in my ear right now. Mildly injured shopkeeper. Uh, apologies, but the store is closed due to the end times. We also regret to inform you that all of our assets and items were liquidated. The item shop will be will reopen once the earth and or universe have been cleansed and or destroyed. Conditions may apply. And your skinny penis? Yeah. I received an order to give you something. Said something about defeating evil. Something like that. Well, I do have this pipe. You can try it in the training dummy. I just brought up behind you. Also, <laughs> I'm legally obligated to tell you that this weapon's hotkey is 1. And you can holster weapons using the H hotkey. Of course, because the holster starts with H. Hotkey 1. Uh, or no, hotkey. Fuck it! I'm sure you'll figure it out. This legal mumbo jumbo's gibberish for me. So where's the? Is that the dummy? Dummy PNG not found. Okay. Oh. So, am I blocking or swinging? Ah, uh, I don't like that you follow me around like that. Hold to aim. Whoa. Okay. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> I'm ready to try this on something else. No? All right. Shot dog. Woof woof. Get the fuck away from me if you want to keep breathing. Woof woof mother. <laughs> This game has some profanity. Did you do this? Was this your doing? I'm not gonna snitch or anything, I just wanted to know. 
Your banjo playing is really good, but can you play anything else? Uh, you're really loud in my ear. Bat. Ah, oh, shit. We got Snoop Sheep over here. 16th Sheep. Wow. Who the fuck are you? Get the fuck away from me before your brains are splattered all over the field. You fuck. Oh, you're not police. Sorry, we were uh, cool now. We cool now. All that's in the past now. No hard feelings, I hope. Look at them. All sheep to slaughter. All sheep to the slaughter. Kind of heart wrenching when you think about it. But nah, man. I ain't one of them forced to jump over fences and dreams and shit. I used to do that every single day. Three years, slave labor for minimum wage. Horrible job, I tell you. One day, it was my turn to jump over the fence in that one kid's dream. I was the 16th sheep. I just thought, nah, man, I'm not gonna do it. Then he started to beg, said something like, please, I've yet to count them all. Let me count every single sheep. But I ain't move, and he just fell asleep. Now that I think about it, it does kind of sound like some sort of fable for children, isn't it? It even rhymes. Well, I guess you pick up on that when you work with kids your whole life. Right. Story time over. Story time is over, my friend. I need some time to myself here. Okay. Not sure what I really got out of that. Uh, 16th sheep. I feel like 16 is an important number, so we're going to keep that in mind. Whoa, why, why did I pick up guts? Why did I pick up guts? Okay. Uh, I think I've explored everything. Just when I think that I've explored everything, I really haven't explored anything. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything in this area. Revolver ammo? When do I get a revolver? HALT! Entrance to the forest is strictly forbidden due to high numbers of zombies in the area. But wait, you look familiar. Let me check here. Silent, blue skin, smoker. Yeah, seems like I've hit the mark. The jackpot. Skinny penis, right? I'll take that as a yes. Anyways, I've been ordered to grant you access to the forest, but you need some means of self-defense. Ah, uh, don't worry, I have a weapon. Ah, good, it seems like you've got something. It's not much, but it'll do. One thing before you go through. Before you go through. Before you go, though. If you have any guts in your inventory, hit Q to eat some and heal up. You can pick up guts using E. I do believe I said quite enough. Have fun, you lucky bastard. So, um, you mean to tell me that it's, it's natural for people to just consume... Okay. Yeah, no, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you. I also don't know how long this game is. Oh, I feel very uncomfortable. All right, we'll hold shift to run. Uh, n not wanting to live person. I'm not gonna say that word on my channel. Borkis, Borkis are paste pastries made from Filo dough and usually stuffed with cheese, mashed potatoes, mushrooms, olives, chickpeas, etc. The dish originated in Turkey and was popularized in Israel by Turkish and Balkan immigrants. It is a notable and common dish in Isra Israeli cuisine. Okay, why did you feel the need to tell me that? <laughs> Oh! Get him back! Get back! I'm slightly hurt? Okay, how do I not take damage? Uh, is it like a creeper situation? Ow! Okay. Uh, there's some guts over here. I need that. Ah, I still don't like the idea. I'm bruised now. That's fine. I think bruise is better than pretty damn hurt. That looks like progress over there. 
Wait, I'm gonna go over here just to see what this is. Oh, okay. Pipe is one, Glock is two. Guts are in my inventory now. I'm pretty healthy. So of course you aim and then left click or yeah, left click to fire, R to reload, and T to check ammo. I'm not gonna remember that. Uh, excuse me. All right. Uh, shit's about to get pretty serious here in a second, so let me just backtrack and make sure I didn't miss anything. Cause I'm being watched by millions of eye trees. Damn. All right, I think I'm just wasting ammo from this distance. Sheesh. What's this? Revolver ammo, let's go! <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! Alright. I think that was everything back there. Ah! So, I may have wasted ammo, as I expected I would. But that's okay. That's okay, because I think we killed majority of them. Borkis films were a popular Israeli film genre during the 60s and 70s. These films were usually comedies and or melodramas, which revolved around the conflict between Mizrachi and Ashkena Ashkenazi Jews? Okay. Thank you for this information. I don't need this up on my screen anymore. So, what is... Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of the combat here. I think I'm getting the hang of the combat here. Ah! There we go. Alright, uh, should I go this way or that way? I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna go this way. Borkis usually contains high levels of fat and tri what bork okay is is there just like a bunch of different types of Borkis because he's giving me like uh, high levels of fat and trans fats due to the fact that Borkis are made of margarine based dough indeed high levels of trans fats put you at risk of heart disease and stroke okay not sure why I need to know any of this all right so that's a dead end I just, hello? Okay, I was stuck for a second. Hey, skinny penis, we're over here in the corner. Make sure you get rid of those zombies before you come. I think I got rid of them all. Borkus films proved successful in the 60s and 70s, yet were, why am I moving like this? Yet we're heavily criticized for low production values and shallow themes. A spin-off genre called Geffilt Geffilt Fish Films. Why am I moving back? Stop! Also soared during that time, which starred uh starred an Ashkenazi protagonist instead of Mizra Mizrahai. <laughs> Although the popularity of these films plummeted in the mid 80s, some of them reached cult status such as Charlie and a Half. Okay. <clears throat> so I think I got rid of all the zombies. Motherland! Fatherland! Wonderful, you- Wait, what kind of voice? Wonderful, you- you've arrived! If you're wondering why we couldn't help, it's just because we're NPCs. And NPCs and sort- and these sorts of games just kinda... Stand around, stand around, doing absolutely nothing, waiting for protagonists to wake us up. That's a very blunt description, but not far from the truth. At any case, skinny penis, we have called you here for a very special reason. That reason is not if to quote the great poet Motherland here, shooty shooty bang bang services. Let me have some fun with this daddy land. Whoa! Uh, we require combat expertise, skinny penis. There, that's how you should say it. 
Basically, we want to bring down the developer of this game. Yes, yeah, skinny penis. You're. Oops, I skipped by accident. You're already experienced some of it now. You've already experienced some of it now. Survival horror zombie first person shooters. Yeah, whatever he said. We've managed to hack into the system and break dancing engine. In Engies? Control of us. Well, we can't fight back. We can teleport you ourselves. You and ourselves and say what we please. We want to give the power of free will to everyone. So you're going to play along, but instead of fighting the final boss, you're going to kill Dancing NG. We're basically full JRPG here. JRPG here. Using the power of friendship to kill God. <sighs> God die him! Are you skinny penis? I don't know why everybody has a British accent now. That's correct. What matters do you have with skinny penis? We are Skinny Penis's personal assistances. Assistances. They're in a meeting right now. Do you want to leave a message? Tell me lies. Tell me sweet lies. Sweet little lies. Alright, he's gonna be Russian now. Motherland, the fatherland, and Skinny Penis. That's horrible. You are under arrest. For what? Conspiracy against the developer and massacre of the zombie species. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You'll be representing yourselves in the trial, Skinny Penis. A trial? As in, legal trial? Correct. In fact, it will commence right after this loading screen. <laughs> Very self-aware. October 2nd, Supreme Court. Courthouse number one. And I have a cigarette in court. Where's the audience? There's usually like a whole crowd of people who aren't even involved in the situation. Uh, what kind of voice do we give the judge? Uh, you know, I'll just give him my voice. The court is now in session for the trial of Skinny Penis. Who the fuck is... Oh, this is the developer. I guess you'll get my voice too. I can't really... I'm not creative today. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Wait, the developer's prosecution? Representing himself? Yes. How is that fair? Dancing Engine is unable to override the court decisions. How? He's the creator of this game! Is the defense ready? The defense is ready, your honor. I'm sorry, but Skinny Penis will be representing themselves this trial. Shit. Oh, right. I forgot that Skinny Penis is a silent protagonist. Well, I guess we're representing Skinny Penis then. Like hell you are. There. I gave you basic speech functions for this level. Have fun. Skinny Penis, kindly tell NG exactly what you think of him. Ah, oh, okay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. I'm not a lawyer. How am I supposed to represent myself? Put your, putting yourself in your own game is really narcissistic. Fuck you. Fuck your game. This is a terrible excuse for a human being. Uh, give him a piece of our mind. Yeah, and if I may just say something to NG before we begin. Oh. Here he comes. NG from Skinny Penis themselves. You're the best developer ever. I love this game. I love this level and I love you. <laughs> I love that. That's great. The fuck? Are you uh, are you all right, Skinny Penis? I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck did you do, Skinny Penis? Oh my god, NG. You're so handsome. Marry me, Edgy Senpai! Kawaii Nate <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry everyone. I planted this dialogue option to see if Skinny Penis would choose it. That shit you made Skinny Penis say it tells us more about you, Engie, than anything else. Hey, if it makes you any happier, all other dialogue options were genuine. Order! Order! You made me oh sorry, this is Fatherland. You made me genuinely, unironically swear, so that's quite the accomplishment. Well, if you created a whole courtroom level, one might assume you wanted to have a trial. Correct. Then I think it's best we proceed. Fuck you, though. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I hear by- Oh, sorry, that's a judge. I don't know who's talking. I hereby conclude that Dancing NG deserved that fuck you. Okay, yeah, I deserve it. Let's proceed then. 
Skinny penis is charged with conspiracy against the developer and possible murder of zombies. So, so you mean to tell me that the murder of zombies is actually like, like a crime here? The prosecution calls the first witness of the stand. Please don't bring out a fucking zombie. Oh my god! Please state your name and occupation. Commander Zed of the Zombie Armed Forces. Armed, armed, armed force, armed. Fuck! Armed? You don't have any firearms. Common misconception. We're called the armed forces because we use our arms to attack. Then in that case, we're all armed forces. Everybody can get these hands. Men, women, children. All right, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Mr. Fatherland, please refrain from dis dis digressing us from the trial. I agree. Move right along here. Moving right along here. Wait, you look identical to the other zombies we encountered. Miss Motherland, our people find these kind of comments offensive. It's akin to saying our humans look the same. Well, considering this art style, everyone kind of looks the same. Crickets chirp. As in, they look like shit. <clears throat> Mr. Zed, you claim that Skinny Penis has unlawfully slaughtered your forces. Am I right? Yes. Slaughtered in the full sense of the word. Our peaceful homeland became a bloodbath. Peaceful my ass. I heard that. You can read my thoughts? Yeah, they were displayed in a text box right there. We could all see it. Yeah, come on, Motherland. You're making me look bad. Stupid dog. You make me look bad. So I can't even think privately. Is this another one of your jokes? Like that trap answer from before? Yeah, dancing Angie. Mr. Zed, please provide your testimony regarding skinny penis. It'll be my pleasure. Jesus, did this just turn into, uh, 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 what's that game? I'm blanking on literally every video game today. Uh, uh, Ace. I stationed my troops at the borders as always. Nothing particularly exciting happened for the first three hours. I heard the gate open, but I didn't think much of it. Suddenly, I hear my fellow zombies screaming and moaning for help. Lovely skinny penis right here killed them all for no reason. They were just standing there. Zombies won't hurt anyone. Not even a fly. Oh yeah? Objection! Explain to me then, why did they attack me when I got closer to them? They deserve death sentence immediately. Mr. Zed, please refrain from these kind of statements. The defense may not start the bullshit ex, ex The defense may now start their bullshit examination. Skinny penis, you're going to have to deal with this yourself. But I can at least tell you how to perform a good bullshit examination. Do you want to hear it? Tell me how to explain it. Sure, but your explanation may be haiku. Must be a haiku. Don't worry, I know how to do this already. Don't worry, I know how to do this already. I'm a pro. Never played this game before in my life, but I'm a pro. I stationed my troops in the forest. There's always nothing particularly exciting for the first three hours. Call bullshit. Uh, continue. I heard the gay air from the zombie. Didn't think much of it. Suddenly, I hear my fellow zombie screaming and running for help. I call bullshit. The statement is clearly BS. Really? How? Well, skinny penis, please. Oh, sorry. This judge. They kind of look the same. Like, if you look at the blue face. Blue face, baby. Sorry. Skinny penis, please refrain from calling BS on perfectly fine statements. Trust is now four out of five. Fuck! I stationed my troops. Nothing exciting. Okay, continue. Continue. Lovely skinny penis right here killed them all for no reason. They were just standing there. Call bullshit! OBJECTION! Mr. Zed, you said that your troops did nothing after noticing my arrival. Exactly. You just killed them. You said, and I quote, Zombies won't hurt anyone. Not even a fly. I stand a lot. 
then how do you explain the fact that when I approach the zombies and pursue zombies? Sorry, hold on. <laughs> then how do you explain the fact that when a then when approached, zombies pursued me and tried to kill me? I can't read, but I'm getting into this. Impossible. B b I would never. This fucking music, man. Are you really going to take skinny penises testimony here? We waited we waited out in the forest and we saw first hand how zombies attacked first. Fatherland is correct. Every zombie skinny penis killed was in self-defense. Oh, right. So skinny penis, uh, that's the judge. Do you see what I mean though? What? I do believe we have sufficient evidence to prove that zombies trust increase of five. No, I refuse to believe the zombies under my command did such a thing. Attacking humans on spiders is outlawed. You can't deny that at all. The court unanimously testifies that your zombies were aggro. So let's move on to our second allegation against Skinny Penis, which is. Shut the fuck up! I suspect this sort of language towards a court, towards a judge, could get you kicked out of court. I will not rest until I get definitive proof that I zombies were hostile towards humans. I'm gonna lose my voice after this. This is hurting my voice. As I said, proof I listen to you people. I suggest you give him what he wants, skinny penis. We're going to be here all day otherwise. Can't you help us here? Hey, you started this whole fiasco. You solve it. So proof that zombies are hostile? Tell them, skinny penis. I need objective proof that Zed zombies are hostile towards humans. Shooting mechanics, guts pick up, the starting town, the troops weren't rogue. The troops went rogue. Sarcastic. Uh, Shooting mechanics... Do not prove anything. Gut pickups. I feel like if we go with guts pickups, that's gonna they're just gonna say something about how that's just part of the game's mechanics and that the zombies didn't actually rip those guts out of anybody. Uh the starting town might be decent evidence. The troops went rogue. We could use that as evidence. Sarcastic definitely is not the way to go. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose trust if we do that. So it's between these three, mostly between this one. I'm gonna go with guts pickup first. No, we'll go with the troops went rogue. Well, it's obvious your troops went rogue and started killing humans. Well, that's impossible. I keep a close eye on them every day or whatever. <coughs> okay, this is starting to hurt my voice. And there is zero resistance. I would say I'm the most honorable and likable commander thus far. Yes, the records show no signs of zombie resistance. Skinny penis, that doesn't prove that Zed zombies were hostile. Oh, fuck. Hey, skinny penis, think about the whole game so far. Did you experience anything that can prove the zombies are hostile? Mm. We'll do guts pickup. At the start of the game, the gateskeeper explained that I could eat guts to regain health. <laughs> Fuck. Why did you start with that? So? So if there are health items, there's possibly... There's a possibility I can be damaged, meaning there are enemies. Well, yes, but there are also environmental hazards. You and your friends right here had to derail the entire game so you didn't see them. No, that doesn't mean my zombies were aggro. Also, eating guts. Seriously? I tried adding some shock value. Yeah, well, it didn't work. Two out of ten for effort. Skinny penis, that doesn't... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Think about the whole game. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Shoot it. The starting town. Ah, oh, there we go. Objection! When I got into the starting town, it was protected by walls. Yeah, all human settlements are protected by walls. Have you considered why? 
You people are very protective. You lose your shit every time something is out of place or a little la la land. Or maybe it's due to zombies. Come on, guys. The shopkeeper and the priest talked about the end times. Tell me, Zed, how do you? How did zombies come about? I reckon there weren't any zombies before those times. We lost for our lives one day. Loud noises, crazy sky, thunder, fire, blah, blah, blah. Sounds like, a po sounds like an apocalypse to me. Yes, I remember that happening a week ago. Yes, those are indeed the signs of end times. A week ago, that's when the walls were built to keep the zombies away. And, to top it all off, the gateskeeper advised me to have a weapon at hand because the zombies outside haunt humans. That's because someone says something that doesn't mean it's true. The guy wouldn't let me out until I got an old pipe from the shopkeeper. Sorry, I hit my, my mic. So, considering that the walls were built to protect survivors from zombies, that you rose from an apocalypse, that I was advised to have a weapon on me at all times, and considering Motherland's and Fatherland's testimonies, <laughs> Yes, that seems like abundant evidence to prove that zombies are hostile towards humans. Trust increase 4 out of 5. But! Thank you, Mr. Zed. I think we've cleared the massacre allegations. Goodbye. Well, that was abrupt. The music just kind of stopped. Where'd Zed go anyway? Moving right along, here our second allegation is conspiracy. Our second, moving along here, our second allegation. I assume that's your allegation, Mr. Angie. Correct. While you've managed to vindicate yourself of genocide, I reckon it'll be harder to vindicate yourself from conspiracy, skinny penis. Uh, excuse me. I had cereal before I started this. I don't know why that was important. What do you mean, conspiracy? Playing dumb now, huh? You know what I'm talking about. The phone call, the forest, the plans to kill me. You two were supposed to be villains. Professional killers in a land without law. Everyone sitting next to that table were supposed to have a were supposed to have a big epic boss fight at the end of the game. But no, you people just had to fuck it all up, didn't you? You weren't happy with your role, your 15 minutes of glory. Wait, you were originally supposed to be the final boss of this game? Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to look at them. Wait, you're supposed you're originally supposed to be the final boss of this game? Yes, but we had a change of heart. We told you over the phone and the forest was genuine. How would you feel if you knew... How would you feel if you knew how and when you died? We broke the system to free you, everyone from our quest. Abolish enemy... Abolish evil and just live in peace. I think it's trying to do the voices that fuck me over. Acute ideology, skinny penis. Acute ideology. Skinny penis. Read between the lines. They just want to save themselves. Order! Order! Says the person who starts in an apocalypse for some bullshit epic quest solely for skinny penis. This is a video game. You people are not real. The only one who is is skinny penis. God damn it. My fourth wall is going to be so sore after this. Order! Order! Ah! This trial isn't about you. It's about Skinny Penis. I call Skinny Penis to speak on behalf of the defense. A great idea. I trust Skinny Penis completely on this. Let him have it. Don't fuck this up, Skinny Penis. We were from we were we were you from square one. We never lied. I think they meant to do we were with you. We really truthfully want to bring peace to these lands. Do you want to stand on the same side as NG? Motherland and Fatherland are right. NG is right. This is getting really pretentious. You're taking it too seriously. Ah. Uh, uh, I think you guys are just taking this too seriously. God damn it! This game is getting really pretentious. What? What's next? Some kind of bullshit moral message saying that the only way to win is to not- The game is to not play at all? 
No, I'm just... This is very... This is a very stupid game. You're all taking it way too seriously. How the fuck did we go from comedic survival horror game to philosophical discussions about fictional characters again? Well, I guess skinny penis is right. Yeah, so little self-aware is always... Awareness is always good. I'm sorry, people. I just wanted to make something exciting and interesting, and it seems I got from cheesy fourth wall breaks to pretentious ones. I guess it's the sort of thing that happens when you write by this, when you write by the seat of your pants. Hot warming. So, uh, can we leave this drab courthouse and go back to that shooting game thing? Yeah, at least that was fun. Yeah, sure. Let's kill some zombies. You know, NG. Oh, sorry, that's Motherland. You know, NG. That writing in this game, the writing in this game is kind of, eh. Yeah, I feel like this Matrix idea is a bit overused nowadays. Do you want to shoot zombies or not? Come on, Skinny Penny, let's go. Woo! Oh, I'm gonna die. Well, I don't have health, so I assume I can just go crazy. Let's go! Shooty, shooty, bang, bang, shoot all the zombies. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang, shoot all the zombies. All the zombies are dead. All the zombies are dead. All the zombies are dead. Dead, dead, dead. All the zombies are dead. They are killing me, but it doesn't matter because I have infinite health. Da, 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 bang, bang. Shooty, shooty. Oh, I can just hold it down? <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay. Uh, achieve all endings to unlock this one. Okay, so there are three endings to this game. I only had time to get to one. If you guys do, for whatever reason, want to see, um, more of this. Oh, my voice is killing me. If you guys, for whatever reason, want to see more of this, um, let me know down in the comments below. This was Ultra High, Ultra ADHD. I assume that it's called Ultra ADHD because there was just a lot going on and stuff was happening just a, a lot of crazy shit all at once i enjoyed the game i thought it was funny i thought the story was good i thought that uh what's the what's the name the what's the creator's name uh something ng uh something ng uh i'm sorry i forgot your name but really great game man um if he if he or she i assume ng is a he uh has any more games uh, on wherever I found this from, I will most definitely try to check them out and see what they're about. I really don't know what else to say to this. I'm gonna rest my voice. Probably, uh, probably go drink some water. And take about another week break from making videos. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, comment, comment zombie virus if you made it to the end of this video. Uh, I love y'all. Stay safe out there. There's a lot of zombies, a lot of, a lot of weirdos, a lot of shooty shooty bang bangs. Um, take it easy. I love y'all. Stay safe. Take it easy. And big body out.